No, she was crying for her mother. She was, huh? I want my mommy. Just take me to my mommy. Larry Dwayne Hall is an American serial killer who is suspected of stalking and murdering multiple young women between 1981 and 1984. He was born on December 11th, 1962. Larry was a fan of the American Revolution and Civil War. Hall travelled around the Midwest for historical reenactments where he would often abduct, sexual assault and murder teenage girls. He came under police attention after the discovery of a 15 year old's remains in November 1993 and was convicted of her kidnapping. He later confessed to that and an additional murder, though recanted his confessions of both crimes. Hall was born as a twin in Indiana in December 1962. Though he spent his first few days in the emergency room due to a lack of oxygen after his brother Gary fed on him in the womb, in what is called a monochorionic pregnancy. Larry grew up digging graves with his sexton father and was antisocial in school where he struggled due to his IQ being below 85. He was suspected of committing various acts of arson, burglary and other petty crimes in his teens. After high school, Hall got a job as a janitor and began travelling around the state to take part in historical reenactments. In late September 1993, 15 year old Jessica Roach went missing around her hometown in Georgetown, Illinois. Two months later, her remains were found in a cornfield. After an initial witness said they had saw a man driving a van around the cornfield, several other people called the police about a van driving around talking to young girls in early 1994, which led to Hall being brought in for questioning in October. Authorities showed Hall a photo of Roach and he immediately flinched, they quoted, leading them to suspect he had been involved in her murder. Though he denied having ever seen her, after finding evidence in his Dodge 1982 van connecting him to Roach's disappearance and giving details that only the perpetrator of the crime could have known, Hall eventually confessed to and was charged with her abduction, though not her murder, that December, and was found guilty in June 1995. At the time, the FBI assumed he had murdered both Roach and the college student, Trisha Reitler which Hall had confessed to but later recanted. It is believed that Hall's first murder occurred when he was 18. 15 year old Dean Marie Pyle Peters disappeared from her Grand Rapids Michigan Middle School in February 1981 and her body was never recovered. 12 year old Deborah Jean Cole disappeared from her Indiana hometown in late August which Hall is also suspected of. Over the next 13 years, numerous female corpses, some as young as 10 and some unidentified, were discovered and later attributed to Hall due to their bodies being strangled and sexually mutilated. His final assumed killing took place in early October 1994, just three weeks before he was brought in by police for questioning. Hall frequented historical reenactment sites and would select victims from nearby towns and cities. He would abduct his victims, primarily teenage girls and young women, though some were preteens and others were middle aged, before sexually assaulting, torturing and strangling them to death. He would then mutilate their bodies, oftentimes sexually. In 1998, the FBI reached out to a prisoner named James or Jimmy Keane who was serving a 10 year prison sentence for possessing drugs and weapons. The FBI, having learned of Keane's affability and charisma, and worrying that Hall could have won his appeal against his conviction for the Roach kidnapping, offered to commute Keane's sentence if he agreed to be transferred to the same maximum security prison as Hall in order to befriend him and obtain the locations of the bodies of his victims as well as any additional murders he may have committed. Keane agreed and did so, and Hall eventually confessed to him that he had killed a writer. One day, Keane saw Hall working on a map of the Midwest with red dots and names over it, which Hall quickly covered up. Keane, thinking the map would be enough for the FBI, yelled at Hall, 
calling him, quote, one of the most despicable forms of human life on this planet. Keen later regretted blowing his cover at that point, wishing he'd gotten possessions of the map before exposing his true motives. Unable to reach his FBI contacts or prove his true identity, Keen was placed in solitary confinement for two weeks before being released. He tried to recite the map from memory, but was unable to lead to any discoveries. The map was never recovered by authorities. Due to some of the details Keen retrieved from Hall that confirmed his knowledge of several disappearances, Hall's eventual appeal was denied and Keen was released from his sentence. As of 2022, Hall is serving life without the possibility of parole in Federal Correctional Complex in North Carolina. He has since admitted to as many as 39 murders, later recanting every confession, though the FBI believes he could have committed up to 50, which would make him one of the most prolific serial killers in American history.